guys, how's it going? Just a wee bit about myself in terms of employment. I'm part of the Tesco family. <laughs> kind of abusive relationship to us, but family's family. And as the old expression goes, you can change your friends, but you can never change the Tesco you work for. I'm on a meat counter. One of the boys does work meat counter. She really taught me how to use a knife on my fucking wrists. It's not all bad, but my boss is quite sound. He's the sort of guy who like doesn't seem that nice and pretty arrogant, but when you actually start chatting to him, get to know him, he comes across as a really massive cunt. Over a work meet kind of gives you perspective. The perspective that the only thing to turn a girl dry than Jimmy Carr is a white apron. Right, the only thing more disgusting than that joke is the BB cell. What else? Overall, I'd say my biggest weakness is caring too much what people think. Either that or being dyslexic. I know a lot of people make dyslexic jokes, but I don't buy into that. For example, I'm not even bothered writing one down before you know it's too easy a target. Also, spelling is quite hard, so it's easier just like protest against them. I remember in school for exams, I was put in the special room for gifted cunts. By the way, I say special, but the radiators didn't even work properly. People used to make fun of us being in that room. But the joke was on them, briefly, probably 15 seconds, then it was back on me for another five years. <laughs> well, also not much of a drinker generally, I'm not drinking at the moment, mainly because it affects my like, sexual performance, which by the way is like the coolest reason for not drinking. Yeah, I don't know, I just much prefer doing it to a clear head. Wanking. <laughs> I've got hearing problems, so doing this in silence is ideal.